Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's my turn to introduce Professor York. I think introducing Professor York is very easy because I suppose everybody knows uh, him already. Uh, not only because of his, uh, he was, I mean, he's very well known for having coined the term chaos in the dynamic system literature, but also for uh, many other contributions. Uh, in fractal based in batteries, in control of chaos, and uh, also in his work on. With my collaborators like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, of course. His many collaborators. Um, he's, uh, he's also uh, has done uh, many contributions to the uh, genome uh, 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 analysis. Uh, and also dynamics of uh, uh, spreading diseases, uh, etc. Um, something that probably many of you don't know is that uh, he was uh, he received last year an honorary degree by University Rey Juan Carlos in Madrid, Spain, and also last year he received another honorary degree by University uh, University de uh, here in France, and. Uh, well, uh, uh, I think uh, uh, you can start really well. <laughs> Thank you. It is the nature of chaotic systems to surprise. At least they surprise me. With Professor York, we come from Peru. I'm going to ask to explain in very simple uh, words, what is chaos? Actually, younger people and older people know what chaos is. You see, what happened is that the scientists were the last ones to find out what chaos is. Because, see, life is all about little events causing big changes. So, for example, I asked a fellow uh, from Spain last week how his parents met. Well, his parents were from opposite ends of Spain, and they both went to London a particular weekend where they met. Okay, yes. Ah, now, of course, a weekend is not much time, so they, uh, uh, when they went back to their opposite ends of Spain, they still had to get in touch and collaborate. Touch, but now, this, f this fellow I was talking to had these parents, and what would, happen if, what would have happened if one of those parents didn't go to London, perhaps to somewhere else, Paris? Then where would my associate be? He would not exist. So a little choice to go to which a particular place in London results in new people. Yes. This is little changes producing big changes. Like uh, President Obama. I'm sure, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, and so uh, all, man, many events are about uh, this. Now people are finding it in science, everywhere in science where small changes produce big changes. Okay. It was uh, Professor York, James York from Maryland. It's uh, coming from this uh, big conference, Chaos 2015. So it was an uh, encounter with science. Uh, este fue un encuentro con la ciencia, amigos.